Bridge-like motion. Alright, so we got a larger level. This one actually does seem pretty interesting. Okay, this one I can get behind. Interesting. So what's the deal with these gears? They both rotate inwards? I assume they never change directions. So the difficulty is that this A blimp comes- wait, wait, it comes while the cars are going. So it seems that the bridge has to start where the vehicles are, the, the boats are. And then it has to be able to push up. I'm also missing a static showing on the right. Okay. Jesus Christ. Well, and now we do have a bit of a land brace. Land brace, but it's moving. The, the land brace moves, but it's slow. And they and both move in. Um, you know what? This seems less bad than the others. This one just looks hard. Can the gears be stopped from rotating? The uh, moving parts in the first level were not able to be stopped from rotating. If these can actually be stopped from rotating, then this level is actually excellent. Well, in theory. It's excellent in theory. Because you just need to build a bridge that's sturdy enough to prevent this to stop from rotating. Only the boats going, go during C. Wait a second, that's not bad then. Hold on. That changes everything. It's two cars during A, then one during E. That changes everything. Holy crap. I thought there was a car that went during the C phase. So, if I have the bridge be static during A, and just barely low enough to dodge the blimp. So, it needs to be a bit lower, it seems. Then we'll be set for one stage. But then I need to over-support the shit out of it so the gears don't turn. These boats are pretty dodgeable, by the look of it. Let me redraw this. Because look at this shit, watch. We put a road, like, right here. In memory of that, um, World 5 level. Where you just kind of have it j jump the gap. That is a tiny gap. And I think if I use that, maybe I'd stand a chance. And I'll mess around with this. The hard part now is just going to be the moving land brace again. And I do think the moving land brace is an interesting, in theory, idea. So then I also have to do an actual land brace here. And then here we'll just do our arch. This doesn't hold in place, does it? Oh, look at this. We've slowed them down a little bit. So with these cables, I, it worked how I thought it would. This, from here to here, if these rotate, if the gears rotate, this would have to, ex sorry, the, the long one would have to expand in the process. It would have to expand and ropes are pretty strong. Oh, but there's boats. Fuck. The boats. I totally forgot about the boats. I got to plan around that. Maybe uh, if we go down, we have more space. If we go up, we hit the blimp. So I don't like that. So if we go down, maybe we see the light. Okay, notice the gears. Notice the gears. They move a bit at the beginning, and then they don't move at all. This is actually almost enough to fully stop it. Let me see if I can... Yeah, so this flexes a bit in the beginning. So I need to create just a little bit stronger of an idea here. Ah, there's a bit of movement. All right, let's make this even stronger. It's very close, though. It's beautiful. It's actually so beautiful. That's enough to stop the gears. So I'm really happy about that. And now I've just got to say, or well, now I've just got to build my bridge. Maybe I'll take this one side at a time. All right, so let's see if this holds. No, so it do be moving. This is what breaks. I'll steal these up. Okay. Strengthen it up. Steal here. There we go. Half the bridge. It's done. It even works. So I could probably even save more money over here. Let's bring this back now. And do a similar idea on this side. Now I can't straight up copy paste it. But I will do some copy pasting. 
Now I can get rid of all this because we do already have a land brace. All right, so the right side's fallen again. It's weird, actually. We added stuff to the left side, and now the right side kind of goes to shit. Is this getting pull pulling apart? It is. So let me maybe do something like this instead. <gasps> All right, hold. 76%. Let's see if it holds the vehicles. We got to also hope it crosses the gap. Ooh, okay. So that gap is a problem right now. This is what breaks. Let's raise it then. Honestly, this isn't that bad. I think with some tweaking, we get there. <gasps> no break yet, but this guy's gonna be heavier, so it might be worse. Uh, unfortunate break, but it doesn't tear apart the rest of the bridge, which is really good to see. Yeah, I gotta. I think I gotta just gotta reinforce this more. So with some top supports, I think. <gasps> oh, no break. Okay, good news is it didn't break, so all I have to worry about now is the boat hitting this. No, it's close though. Oh, no break. Uh, it's all riding on this last vehicle now. Oh, there we go. Well, this is the most confidence I felt on the level, uh, without a doubt. So, that was neat. We beat the level, no breaks, under budget. First idea was the one that worked. That felt pretty good. And I feel happy about that. I am curious how other people did it. Like, did anyone do it without stopping the gears from rotating? Oh, a rotating support. <laughs> oh my God, wait, that's really cool though. That is really cool. Then this holds, uh, it's jiggling around because of the la lack of a brace on the right side. But uh, hats off to you, this is really cool. This is really creative. All right, next, edge works. Uh-huh. Interesting positions of vehicles. So this is a, oh, well this is, <laughs> this is a kinetic bridge that doesn't meet directly in the middle. What the hell are you doing? Okay. Why are you like this? There, I have it split right down the middle and split it here. So this is just the kinetic level. We just need to have a bridge that pulls all the way out to the side. Honestly, actually just based off this idea alone, even though a billion people did this in workshop, this is still probably the best bridge. Um, all right, so it's time to refigure out how to do kinetic stuff. What I'm confused about is why there's two more roads. Um, and I'm also confused why the length is really weird. As in not a perfect multiple of the roads. But besides that, I like this level, I think, already more than the rest. Just because it at least makes sense. Oh, wait a second. There's no hydraulic controller. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, so you have to have it build at its end phase? You have to build the bridge completely out of the way, so you have to work backwards. I would be actually very okay with this if the length of a road would not be 1.94 meters. And what's extra annoying about this road length is the fact that I have to draw each individual road at 1.94 meters. I can't just draw the roads at two meters now which is the convenient length to draw them at. I have to like very specifically make sure I'm drawing them at 1.94 meters, which is pretty dumb. Now the thing is, I have no idea how I'm gonna wanna do this. Like, I guess if I want to, I could just have the whole thing s swing in. Almost getting somewhere. Okay, maybe I don't attach this here. Almost. Wait, no, it needs to be lower. 
All right, that almost gets there. Uh, two steel pieces isn't enough. What a disappointing level. Like, this isn't even what I wanted to do. It's just annoying I have to be pigeonholed into stuff like this. We're on to level 6, called Spring Loaded. Let's go right into it. Alright! The actual, actual Spring Loaded, okay. So it is the Spring Cannon level. Interesting. Yeah, so this reminds me a lot of the catapult level from the first bridge game, where a vehicle was stopped and you launch with the catapult. Well, now we have springs. Right, so if we're doing a spring cannon, it's probably going to be a double road spring cannon, in all honesty. So what I want to do is I want to have everything be attached by steel like this. I might even think make this attachment. Just have everything attached and then do a crap ton of springs and hope it just sends it over. I'm not quite sure if there's that much more strategy to it or anything, but I'm just going to launch springs. So, I mean, we're going to do just spring muscles on spring muscles. Or maybe even like spring scissors? I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure what the plan is, to be honest. I mean, all I know is I'm just going to jam a bunch of springs down here and whatever happens, happens. No real strategy, no real plan, just jam springs. That seems to be the idea of the level anyways. So, if we're doing a spring muscle that contracts, what needs to happen is that these need to stretch. Maybe we'll do 60%. And this middle needs to compress. Um, it's probably gonna implode again, but I mean, we'll keep messing with it until it doesn't. Despite the implosion, it is still <laughs> launched. So that's cool, at least. It's not a total failure. But yeah, you just can't stretch so hard. <gasps> oh, wait, that was sick. It just didn't yoink it. It managed to not pull the car. Like, look at that speed. If only it took the car with it. Like, nothing falls apart. Hmm. Uh, can this be a split joint? Yeah, it can be, actually. I want this to fall through the earth. Stop flipping it! <gasps> okay, a little better. So let's do a two-road sort of deal. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm glad... Okay, the one thing I just wanted to make sure was that this, in fact, is possible, and I'm not totally wasting my time. So let's keep messing with this until we get it. Uh, that's a little better. So my part of my problem is that I can't really do the pulling up and forward motion that I would like. Because the joint is below the uh, leftmost point. Or this joint is below the leftmost point. Oh! Now we're talking. All right, let's launch this higher then. Come on. Yeah, we've got this. Come on! I think it's stuck. Close though. We're very close. We're going to keep tweaking and we'll get it. 100%. <gasps> no way! How many more times is it going to keep falling off? It's so close. Yes, there we go. Son of a bitch. We'll get this eventually. It really is just the dice roll at this point, but it's kind of an exciting dice roll to watch. There we go. The most exciting dice roll in Polybridge. The spring muscle pull. Exciting. Let's go to the next one. 